Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more PGA Tour 2K, tw not 2K, 2023, uh, and another part of our career mode. And today we are going to continue our journey on the PGA Tour. Uh, but one thing somebody uh, told me in the comment section to the last video was that you get most of your uh, reward points from doing the tournaments, the daily tournaments. So uh, that's what we're going to start off today's episode uh doing so thank you very much to patrick uh, hagborn who said that in the comments section yesterday that uh was very very helpful so let's get ourselves into the four holes arcade because uh we don't want to use any of those reward points um winners are top zero to ten percent let's see how we get on i'm assuming we're not going to do very well but uh <laughs> we'll see We'll see. It's only four holes, so we'll do that now. Now, from the course that hosted the Ryder Cup in 2021, EA Sports coverage of PGA Tour Golf brings us to Whistling Straits on the shores of Lake Michigan. Hello again and welcome. I'm Rich Lerner. We will check in with Nota Begay III and Diona Steven as we move along, but I'm pleased, as always, to be joined in the 18th Tower by a man who won 15 times around the world, Frank Navalo. And Frank, looking forward to what should be a fun afternoon of golf. Yeah, very much so, Rich. When you've waited all morning, those afternoon rounds are a little special, aren't they? I'm really looking, though, for today to see if they come out of the gates nice and quick, that's for sure. I know the finish here is always important, but get out of the gates quick and then see if you can finish the job this afternoon. So let's get out to the course already deep into the round as we head to the tee on the par 4 15th. So we are out on whistling straights. We'll do just fine. And we we'll need a, a finesse shot in there. Now, this kind of does give away the game, doesn't it? This this arc. I don't particularly like it. I know lots of people do, however. Right. Let's see how this goes. This looks pretty good. Is it going to pull up? No. Nope. It does annoy me. I must admit. Right. Um, let's get putting, I assume. Oh. We get ourselves a little uh, putting read as well. Because we're playing on arcade mode. Nowhere near. <laughs> well, there you go. It's going to be par for for this first eight foot putt. Oh. Here. Yep, good work. Not to let that get away, and that's in for a par. Getting set to take on the finishing holes here at Whistling Straits. So we gotta we gotta try and uh, Frank. Well, this is the shortest of the four uh, par fives at 568 yards. There's a big crop of bunkers down the right side. Just a driver off those is certainly going to make this par five reachable. It's not too much. Looks okay, Just actually. What you want to do land it in the fairway, get a little bit of roll out, and that is a good shot. Oh, this is this is tough, but we'll we'll give it a go. I feel like this is going to end up in the bunker. Yeah. Two solid shots at the par five and found the green side bunker. Lie looks good. Now, just needed a good bunker shot. So we can pick this in. That looks pretty good. Should be a, at least a birdie here. Okay, a good out, and that's what will remain for birdie. It's a fairly straight putt. Ah, and yes. there it goes. Very well read to one so under one under. I don't know how people well, Frank, were getting six under. I mean, maybe an eagle there, uh, birdie on the first, that's three, three, but... Most notably the 17th at TPC Sawgrass. He says this one 
is even more fearsome. And the reason why is the drop off on the left. It's uh, 20 feet below the level of the green. Then you've got the sand dunes on the right, which are sort of speckled with bunkers as well. And then there's a little sliver of green grass in between. That's the green. Oh dear, what's this? What on earth was that? Getting some sand in the shoes now. We're a second straight hole. He's in the bunker. And this is now tough. from the bunker. Yeah, just a little splash out on this par three. Nope. And that is out well, of the bunker, be but not here, actually on it? the green, so a tough one coming up. Not hard enough. So it's going to be bogey here. I assume you don't get a, another go at it, but... Yep, that one goes down. It is a We need and another goal. We'll fall out of red figures as it's back to even par. The final hole, the 18th, and the clubhouse. I mean, in should the we distance. have a little look? Frank, it's Made looking like home sweet home, isn't it? Well, if you can hit the fairway here, that's one thing, but it still leaves an enormously long yeah. second shot. I mean, there's no way that we're going to finish anywhere near good. Yeah, but we'll uh, we'll give it a go, I suppose. Let's uh, try and draw it in a little bit. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. To where the hole is cut, just about 190 yards, Frank. Okay. needs to sit oh it's not bad it's not bad we welcome in Iona Steven this a putt for birdie yeah and it's a pretty straight putt down the slope but it will pick up pace as it gets towards that hole it's pretty close oh mm, got it there but not quite on target Absolutely no atmosphere okay, in the finished off in the online matches. Is there? There Frank, you go. That was quite a test at Whistling Straits. Well, 7,800 yards is one of the longest courses you can play, but uh, this golf course. Right, let's uh, head back. I have no idea where that will put us in the daily tournament. No idea whatsoever. It looks like we can enter again if we want to. Yeah. So. Um, I mean, that puts us where I don't know how many people there are, but yeah, yeah, no idea, no idea to be honest. So, yeah, but there you go, there's a little bit of online play. Let's get back into the career mode today. We are taking on the Farmers Insurance Open at Tory Pines. Looking forward to it, hopefully, playing with somebody else and we are this time playing with Jordan Spieth we are on the sixth hole we are um tied for fifth on one over so it looks like it's going to be quite tricky conditions is it maybe not just Tory Pines must be quite tricky so let's get in let's see how we get on but let's get on EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From a stunning setting, Torrey Pines Golf Course in Southern California, it's opening round coverage of the Farmers Insurance Open. Situated high on the cliffs overlooking the Pacific Ocean, what a golf course, Torrey Pines, and what a weekend we should have in store as we look at the leaderboard here in round one. Wyndham Clark is your leader. He's at one under as the AM pairings are just getting started. Meanwhile, our featured golfer looking for another strong showing after a top 10 finish a week ago. Time to head out to the course as we pick things up on the tee 
at the long par 5 sixth. We're here at Torrey Pines, just north of San Diego. Our featured golfer whom we followed last week in the desert put on quite a show in that PGA Tour debut. Spot up near the top of that final leaderboard. Didn't turn out to be a win, but Frank, there had to be a lot of positives to take from week one. There certainly was, Rich, top 10. Uh, that means you're no slouch. You belong on the PGA Tour. But I just want to say, hold your horses at the moment. I really want to see how this week turns out. And the reason why... Last week, that was a flat track. This week, you have a bona fide U.S. Open golf course in Torrey Pines. You know, over 7,500 yards, mean and tough. Cold conditions this time of the year. If this is a top 10 as well this week, well then, yeah, I'm a believer. Okay. Uh, I really love how the commentators, you know, Ooh, that's changed well their speech right. depending on how you've got on in tournaments. Uh, speech in well, the rough after that one's in the rough. His first it might be a tough shot coming here. up. Let's get the thoughts now of four and he's two over PGA Tour winner Noda through Begay, the third. And Noda, our featured golfer, has to be brimming with confidence after that opening tournament. And why not? You go out and you pick up your first top ten on the PGA Tour. You secure a nice paycheck, but you also get a clear understanding of just what it's going to take to be successful at this level. And that, without question, is what you build on. Okay. This is a par five, by the way, so. If we. Maybe seven would this. That might be quite good. Go on, get down. Get down. Up the hill. Ooh, unlucky. Three wood would have been perfect. What he wanted to do after the tee shot puts himself in really good position here on the par five. Oh my goodness, what was that? And Jordan Spieth, not great. Right, I mean, there's not a lot of break on this, so let's just try and chip this on, I suppose. Oh no, that's a pitch, isn't it? We probably don't want to do that, do we? Should we, uh... Hey, there we go, there's a chip. Let's see if we can... haul out here. Oh, it's there, you know. Get in oh, there. Yeah. I mean, Get in there, eagle. Oh, kind of we will settle for that. Hand. Beautiful shot right there, and that is an eagle. That was a cracker. Jordan Spieth, very, very decent chip there, but I think it'll be this is only for par. That, Frank, what do you think? I certainly do. It was so, so good. Safely in for par here at the sixth. And he'll remain in red figures at one under. And we're here, of course, at Torrey Pines, the south course. Long history of this event in San Diego, dating back to 1952. It's been here at Torrey since 1968. A lot of great winners. Frank, you've played the course a number of times. Overall, what are the things that a young golfer like this needs to keep in mind this week? You have to remind yourself it's just a plain, hard, straight-up golf course. And plus, it's going to play every inch of its length because of the marine layer that often comes in. So you have that very dense air. We're obviously at sea level. And plus the Poana Greens. You're going to miss the odd short putt. Um, you can't let that get to you. You look around the leaderboard, you don't see the same 60-nothings that we saw the week before. That's very nice. So Spieth uh, will be looking to do something similar here. Just fade it in here. That's nice. This starting toward the right side. Oh, it just just trickled it right, didn't it? Rough, and it's going to leave a fairly blind shot into a very difficult and narrow green. Here at seven, this is second from off the fairway. Mm, wants to avoid the bunkers here. Wants to avoid the bunkers. He's okay. He's all right. That could have been a, a disaster.
Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. Left with 154 to the hole. Pin about medium depth, though it is on the left side. This looks pretty good. Oh my goodness, that is very good. Oh, ho, we'll oh, settle for this. The, the sound of it. And the ball does the rest. Great shot. Not only a long putt, but a bending putt. Strong right to left in this one. Very tough putt It'll for Birdie here for just Jordan Spieth. A couple of feet. And that's very close. Unlucky. Unlucky. Yeah, that's good pace. Just a little offline, but not too bad from that far away. And Birdie this, putt now moving to yeah. his right. We are the co-leader here, so if this drops, this would put us into the lead. Oh, nah, that's going to miss right. And a good opportunity goes by the wayside. Yeah, I'm definitely going to give this a bit more pace. And there you Batman go. Finished off. Does come in this time. Seven. And he'll remain at one under par. And speed for par. He'll finish that one off with no problem. It's in for par. And he'll stay right where he is. Some tough par threes on this south course. Here's another one, the 177-yard eighth. This hole deceptively uphill. Might be worth grabbing an extra club, maybe even two, to cut through this ocean air and cover that deep front bunker. Okay. Need to be a little careful here. I don't think an extra club is going to be necessary. I think we'll be all right. In fact, didn't check, Frank. Yeah, just not enough spin on that. Um, really, I mean, that almost like took that first bounce and just ricocheted forward. In fact, we could have uh, went even less. But oh my goodness me, this is going to be bunker bound, is it? I just checked up. That's not bad from Spieth. That's going to be on the putting surface, and a birdie look straight ahead, 19 feet away. Mm, this is uh, quite a lot of break he's going for here. Is it going to curl? Is it going to curl? Mm, not quite. Oh no! I think nice putt though. Good length. That in. That looked on target the whole way. Again, not a lot of break here, so a chip. Sort of what you're looking for here. Ooh, oh dear. And that's the problem with chipping. If you don't get near the hole, that's what happens, and well, we're now in big trouble. Get in there, beautiful par putt. Oh, so well done! That somehow is in the safe par, and he'll remain right where he is. That was pretty ridiculous, to be honest. Not gonna lie. Okay, that in for par here at the eight. And he'll stay right where he is. Well, this is a strong par five to close out this front side. It measures 615 yards. Obviously, it's going to be reachable into by only the longest hitters. But still, if you play it the right way, drive in the fairway, the appropriate layup, you can make a birdie. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, a tough one. Oh, it's left. It's left. Needs to kick this right. Right toward the left side. Oh dear. You know, errant tee shot here, Rich. But gonna have to muscle this one out of the rough. Let's see what Spieth can pull out here. Oh, 
That's pretty good. Oh, a bit unlucky to go into the first cut there, but... I mean, that's what we were trying to avoid. Yeah, there's no way he's going to make the green in two, so he's just got to lay up nicely here. It's a little left, that. It's a little left. Oh, but lovely kick to the right. Has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five. Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. Yeah, just going to lay up here. Going to back onto the green. At the fairway. And that's where you need to be, back into the fairway on this par five. Ready for his third shot, needs to hit this close. This is pretty good. That'll do very nicely. That's a good shot, and more importantly too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Spieth uh, taking this time. Oh dear. That's the second pitch that has gone completely wrong for Spieth today. He's not playing well. Chips that on. It's going to be a, a pretty certain par putt, but he'll be disappointed. 11 feet away. Give this a little bit of extra welly. It's there. Beautiful putt. Two under now. Moves to two under par. And this is our last hole, so Spieth. Let's see where he ends up. That's in the hole. Yeah, good concentration. So he ends up on one under. Where do we end up on? In for a par. In the end. I wonder. Yeah, looks looks like we're gonna be there for the rest One of the day. Nice the leaderboard, and three Our under, we finish on. Very down, good. But not out after day one. Yeah, they might have to take the standing eight though, or hit the reset button. Um, this can easily go the wrong Ooh, way. Very double quickly. bogey Tomorrow, on seventeen. Round. So that's it for us. Wow. For Frank, Noda, Iona, and our entire crew. Rich Lerner saying, thanks for joining us. We would have been five under and very much in contention. But uh, we'll see. Let's go into day two. And we are with Scotty Scheffler again. Oh, dear. Um, and he's in his second round of tyre this time, which is good. Uh, we're on four under at the moment. Projected cut line at two over. We are tied for 12th on the 11th hole. Let's get into it. Billy Horschel is our leader on 11 under. Here we go, then. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From La Jolla, California, just north of San Diego, live second round coverage of the Farmers Insurance Open. So much to behold here at Torrey Pines, the ocean, the cliffs, the trees, the green grass, the blue sky, maybe even a paraglider or two, as we check out the Friday leaderboard. And the leader is Billy Horschel. He sits at 10 under par. We'll join the action on the tee at the par 3 11th. So Frank, this the second round of the season's second tournament here at Torrey Pines and the young golfer we're following, really playing well here in the first two starts of their young career. Nice finish as we saw at PGA West and now good start to this week as well. A great start, Rich. I think if you look at golf over the last decade and that, remember Jordan Spieth, what a splash he made 
when he, as soon as he came out on tour, he was ready to win money, FedEx Cup points, all the way to the top of the list. And then you look at guys like Sun J M, you know, who was like always just one step down. We all we, we weren't talking about him, but week in week out, he was putting his name on the leaderboard. We've got another career we're looking at right now that is very similar to those two players. And that's going to be into one of the three bunkers surrounding this 11th green. Well, that's not bad from Scheffler. Uh, that one kind of took off on him. That'll happen sometimes coming out of the bunker, and that scoots right on by. Quite a bit of break here. Maybe even a little bit more than that. Mm, probably yeah, right the first bad. time. He was hoping that would come down a little more, but that's good effort. And Scheffler might still struggle from here. Putt. No. Ah, nearly had it. Just going to wander a foot or so by. So that brushed in for par. Good par. Eleven. Let's and see what comes up for Scheffler. So it's for bogey. Safely in. Yeah, it's a bogey. Oh, it, it actually worked for him. And that's going to drop him back to four under par. Up next, the 505 yards, par 412 to Torrey Pines. You can be aggressive off the tee here, and you should be, because if you do not get a good drive, you're not going to get it home in two. Okay. All right, we gotta gotta go for this. This looks pretty good. Lovely tempo there. Right down the middle of the fairway. That's beautiful. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend, and that another good drive here. Oh, Scheffler left. Very left. This could be bunker bound unless it kicks right. It's going to be first cut. So the golf ball ends up in that first cut. It's a little bit less than two inches. You can see the golf ball should be able to get at it, but may not be able to control the spin. We'll see. Now back toward the ocean. This is second at 12. Five iron here. Yeah, it is downhill, so I'm going to go six iron. This needs to run on a little bit. And it has done. That's not bad. Early part of this second nine and a good approach shot. And now, pretty good chance for birdie. Well, this is good. This is very good. Oh, that's a terrific approach from you, you got Scotty. Cover nearly two football fields of distance and get it inside five feet. You wouldn't think that's possible. Oh, that's there. Oh, what a birdie oh, put that yes. in. It's five and under now. To get up that slope. That was it a beauty. Is in for a birdie. And he'll move now to five under par. Scheffler hits okay, it as well. Nice the birdie there. Three, three under for him. Twelve. Will certainly help the cause. This is a good hole right here. Giant 621 yard par five, the 13th. You have to hit a massive tee shot. And if you want to get home into, I mean, you need to really bust that second one. It has to be 260 yards of carry. Good luck and get after it. Yeah, this is going to be uh, an interesting well, hole. The California swing continues. We head up the coast to 
Pebble Beach, there's nothing oh, Pebble like Beach, we love it. Pebble Beach Pro-Am. Yeah, it started all those years away with all the Hollywood stars, the great Ben Crosby. It used to be called the Clam Bake, but look what it's turned into now. Now golfers are the stars. And if you want to be part of this, there's no better place. Come to Pebble Beach. I just love the, the coverage, the, the commentary. It's just second to none. I mean, talking about the next tournament, talking about how we're getting on and talking to the the on-course analyzer, Nota Begay the third, and, you know, getting his opinion on on us. It's, it is just wonderful. It really is. Anyway, still well over 300 yards to the flag. So getting this to a good number, the key here for his second. And just thinking about this, probably want to try and approach it, but. Oh, but it doesn't kick into the, the bunker. That's pretty good. Just needs to stop there. Still better than three bills away as he puts forth his second to the par five. Now, Scheffler could possibly reach this, but will he? Mm, not quite. It's a horrible little shot, isn't it, really? Yeah. Oh, go on. Oh, that's a beauty. Scheffler making a few adjustments and pitching it on. But that's going to run onto the fringe, is it? Not quite. It's okay. Now, will he haul it? We turn to Nota Begay the third for this look at birdie. And break won't be a big worry, but speed will. This is going to pick up momentum as it works down the slope. Oh, Unlucky man. there. Speed was spot on. A good putt, but nothing to show for it. Let's see if he can knock this in. It's for birdie. This needs to go in. So far, cause. Oh, oh, we nice nearly missed down. it, but another birdie. Six under now. Side. And that's going to move him to six under par. Okay, safely in for par here at 13, and he'll remain at six under par. Okay, we're seventh, as it stands. We now arrive at the 437-yard par four, 14th at Torrey Pines. The canyon running along the left side of the fairway is the danger here. So here at the 437-yard par four, 14th, that canyon that you can see running along the left side is, is pretty to look at. Obviously, you want to stay away from there because you can make a big number if you hit your tee shot down there. Okay, a bit of a tailwind behind us. Oh, don't go in the bunker. Oh. Well, I'd, no I'd have, funnily enough, here. rather to in the bunker than... Where it has ended up. And very left. <laughs> oh. 
Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. Not a big issue, though it is in the rough. Should have a go at this one. Second shot now, 14th hole. Feeling like this is going to go fairly far right here. Mm, it hasn't gone right. Oh. A good break got him here. Now his second to the par four. This one's looking very good. Very good again. Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. Oh, for a high flop, try and get it right in there. That's okay. It's actually closer than Chef Flip. This from about 10 feet. But he's a shot ahead of us. No. Mm, boy, that's a good stroke. Just a fraction off target, but you can't get the speed any better than that. Oh, okay, good that was part. a pressure put. A par here at 14. And a good one. Six and under. Remain. Right there he is. We'll see where the AI gets us, but uh, we've done our bit, haven't we? No issues there. He it finishes on three under at the end. And he'll stay. Where are right we going to finish? So for our Six golfer, Frank, no, four under. The weekend. Who knows? So I think they lost a couple of shots, unfortunately. See what happens. Yeah, exactly. double bogey. Such a fine no, line it's it's not good. Well Never so. mind. But we have made the weekend. And now we need to go into the final two rounds with some confidence. And we're playing with Scotty again. It's uh, yeah, definitely glitching whenever you get Scotty. So that's a shame. EA Sports and the PGA Tour are proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From the south course at Torrey Pines Golf Course, it's third round coverage of a San Diego tradition, the Farmers Insurance Open. Moving day here at Torrey Pines on this Saturday, a lot of action to come as we look at the third round leaderboard. And the leader is Billy Horschel. He's currently at 16 under par. As for our featured golfer, their place is secured for the weekend, but it's gonna take something special to get back into contention. Let's get out to the play as we pick things up at the par four seven. Frank, I know you and I have been talking off air. We're both pretty impressed with our featured golfer. Strong showing, made cut at the American Express last week, and now I think an equally strong performance here at Torrey Pines in career start number two. Yeah, you nailed it, Rich. You know, so often we just focus on the people at the top of the leaderboard, the ones trying to vie for the tournament. But, yeah, we, we're both chatting. And this is an impressive game. Good swing, a very solid tee to green. And and at the moment, just not a lot of people are talking about them. They're brand new, but, you know, this is a good game. And, and I think a few putts go in, maybe a couple of bounces go in the right direction. Uh, we're going to see this name on the, on the top of the leaderboard very, very soon. This looks left, but is okay. Yeah, nothing a fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. Wind coming from his right as he gets set for his second. Oh, this looks good. What a shot. What a shot. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Second shot coming up. Let's bring in Iona Steven. Yeah, he's in a good spot, 135 yards left, pin on the right-hand side, so really looking for a fade in here if he can. Yeah, not bad from us either. 
Uh, that's not too bad. Good shot. Uh, inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really an outside chance for Bertie. That's good. That's good. Oh, oh it's very a good. What a roll there. That Back is to six under Bertie. now. And he moves to two under for his round, six under for the tournament. Let's see if it works for Scotty here. His leaderboard, very good put. Oh, how about it? A Ooh, it has done, to be fair. It is in for a no, no, it hasn't. Because we won the seventh there, so say no that's fine. To that. We arrive now at the second part three on the front side, the uphill 177 yard eighth. Critical to avoid the large front bunker and get your shot to the right level of this two tiered green. That's good. That's very good. That'll do. All right, you take those all day long. On the green, chance for birdie coming up. That's even okay, better. That's going to end up right in the middle of the green. This is a 16 footer. Oh, it's another birdie. Yeah, good another a birdie, birdie on the card. And that'll move him to seven under par. He was about ready to walk that in. That looked on target the whole way. Okay, safely in for his paw. And he'll stay at 700. We finished the front side here at Torrey Pines at the 615 yard par 5 ninth, reachable into by only the longest hitters, but with a good drive and an aggressive layup, birdie is definitely a possibility. Okay. Let's give it a, a little bit of loft and let it feel less wind. Nice. Right down the middle. Once again. He just keeps motoring right along. Another good tee shot right there. Let's see where Shefflet can get. Oh, he's giving it a big old whack. That's going to be left, though. That's a shame. Oh, and that is into the fairway bunker on this par five, and that is a long way home from there. Might be able to get this onto the green if it uh, just dips over that bunker. Go on, go on. No, not quite. We all know there is so much emphasis these days on power, hitting the ball long ways. We forget once in a while that you have to be able to put the ball in the proper places. That's what he's done right here. Yeah, par fives were designed as three shotters, and this hole is definitely a three shotter today. Problem was going to start with that tee shot. Once it found the bunker, needed a cool head and a second shot that found the fairway. Not quite there though. Okay. Hmm. 
Not sure what to go for here. Might go for a long flop. Oh, it's gone left. It's gone left. Mm, not bad. Let's bring in Nota Begay the third for a look at birdie. Dead center on the read. Got to keep the pace up and get it up the hill. Still got two more holes after this, believe it or not. But oh, that's a beauty! What a putt that is! Oh, that's the cruelest oh. thing about this game. Rich. Unlucky. I mean, it's just now it's another shot. This is an 11 foot putt. Similar. Shot for us. Damn it. Look how far it's gone as well. That's That can be the problem with the hack of hitting it a bit harder to take away the, the break. So it's going to be bogey. Yeah, that's a nice putt. Getting it there up the hill was half the battle. This got there just a little wide of the mark. Okay, a shake of the head as that one is finished off. And he's going to fall to six under par. And he'll walk that one in for his par. It'll keep him at plus one. Always nice to kickstart your back nine with a birdie. And you'll have a chance if, again, and we, we keep repeating this theme at Torrey Pines, if you hit a good tee shot, then you can attack. Okay, here we go then. Penultimate hole of our round. Scheffler, of course, won that last hole, so he gets the pleasure of starting us off here. Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. Okay. Giving it a bit of our everything there. That's a good tee shot down the right side. But that flag's a little tight on the right, so you might have to have a little think about this one. This is quite tough. Especially from where we are. Pity. That just came out blazing. As soon as it hit the green, it was never going to stop. So Iona, this his second from the fairway. One three nine, the number to the flagstick That's today. In the bunk, I think. Pin in the back right Ooh. portion of the screen. Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. Nope. Well, that's just merely pilot error. Why wasn't too bad. It's a poor shot. It's going to be back to back bogeys here. I don't think he's going to fall in love with that one, Frank. But it won't hurt him. No, but you'd expect from there to sort of get it within kicking distance. Now you got to work. Mm, boy, that's a good stroke. Just a fraction off target, but you can't get the speed any better than that. Uh, nicely there it goes. Oh, it's four five here it's at the three. And he'll fall Too bad. To Holes in a row. So that in for par to start this backside. And he'll stay at 500.
always like to see a par three where you have to hit maybe a long iron, even a hybrid or a fairway wood, and that's the case here at the 11th. If the wind is blowing, already on the card it's 225 yards, but it can play upwards of 240, 250 yards. You need to be at your best on this shot. It's drawn this in. Might be a little long, is it? Oh, just a little. Mm, try to fly it all the way back there, but that'll be too much as it trundles over the back of the green. It's a pity because nope, um, that one never online and it winds up in bad. the left rough. That's a tap in par. Oh, oh, we nearly hold out there. That one finished off. It's in for par. And that was and our last hole. Right so we'll see is. what is going to happen here for our third round. Okay, that one finished off. Four apart. Wow, Scheffler lost right a lot of uh, shots there. In the end, and we end up Frank, on six under eighth place, but Pilly Horschel and Shane Lowry miles ahead pressure. of the game. <laughs> Over par round. Yeah, yeah. But uh, Sheff uh, Sheffler was a, a long, long way off his best. Let's uh, come out of it and let's see if we'll now get somebody different. No. Scotty Scheffler again, never mind. Um, so six under we are, uh, which means we're evens for the round. Tied for 13th. Let's uh, go for another top 10 finish here. At Tory Pines. EA Sports and the PGA Tour so proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From La Jolla, California, and scenic Torrey Pines Golf Course, it's the final round of the Farmers Insurance Open. Well, this is unquestionably one of the best spots in the sport. We know that by looking at the field. The golf course is immaculate. This is Southern California in all its glory as we check the Sunday leaderboard. And the leader is Billy Horschel. He's at an even 20 under. Meanwhile, our featured golfer, Playing out the string, trying to finish this tournament on a high note. So let's get out to the course already deep into the round as we head to the tee on the par 4 15th. Final round here at Torrey Pines on a Sunday. The Farmers Insurance Open, second stop on this year's PGA Tour schedule. And our featured golfer here really with a great start to the career. Frank, two straight cuts made. You know how important that is as you begin your journey and really not always easy to do for rookies. It certainly isn't. I mean, already that puts you in like the top 50 or 60 each week, right? But put it in perspective for the millions of the people that play this game and the very, very few that even decide to turn pro. And then on top of that, the ones that get to play on the PGA Tour and then narrow that down to the ones that play in the weekend. This is how small this class really is. Oh, that's wide. Yeah, it's not been a great Those trees are like brick walls today. Hit weekend that, for Sheffler. Down into the rough. Still 176 to go as he gets set for his second. Mm, needs to sit. 
That's a pity. That's got to be disappointing. Good line in the fairway, and the approach winds up in the bunker. Yeah, that's very good from Sheffler. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Yeah. That's all right. Okay, pretty big swing necessary there, and that's not all that bad from that far away. We turn to Notabege the third for this look at birdie. Well, and he's had great conversion on putts like this. Even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very makeable opportunities. Nice. Yeah, good putt. That's in for par here at 15. And he'll remain right where he is. Okay, a solid par here at the 15th. And he'll stay right where he is. Well, let's so uh, try and get into the top 10 here. Pine South. It is the 16th, 227 yards. Good hole with those three bunkers protecting the green. There is that slight opening in the front. It would take an outstanding shot to give yourself a chance to make a birdie. It's gonna at least come down. Club. Or two. Maybe we want a drive here. Let's see. That's going right. And that is not what we wanted. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Oh, that's left. That's in the bunker, I think, is it? Nearly. Uh, nearly rolled down into it. miss off to the left, so now par going to be very difficult from there. It's got a high flop in there. Good shot. Well, obviously that's not his best, but it'll be quickly forgotten, Frank, if he's able to get out of here with his par. Well, you might forget it. I won't. <laughs> Far from his best. Boy, all the elements of his game have been in sync today. A terrific shot right there. It's all about getting it inside that three-foot circle around the hole. That was a really nice shot. Okay. Very nice. Didn't want to let that one get away. It is a par here at 16. And he'll remain right where he is. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And he'll stay right where he is. So here we go then. It's 12th place. We'd love it if we could get into the top 10 here. Got two holes to go. Not being our best final round. Five yards down that right side. By any stretch of the imagination. That's pretty decent. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway.
Oh, this is a, a great shot. That is beautiful. What a shot from Scheffler there. Mm, that's some good work there. Able to hold the elevated green and now has a good look at birdie. Well played. Mm. Well, let's see how close we can get with this. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Thirteen feet away. Oh, that was close. <clears throat> Unlucky in the end. Finishing strong, that's in for birdie here at 17. And he'll get it into red figures for the day at one under par, five under overall. No problems there. That's there it is, another par. At 17. And we got one and hole to go, of course, the par right five the here at Tory Pines. This 18th hole is not overly long, 570 yards of par five, and it's straight. Should be able to get home in two, but the key is you have to keep it in the fairway. If you hit it in that rough, you're more than likely going to lay up short of that pond and try to make birdie the conventional way. But if you hit it in the fairway, good opportunity to go for it in two and finish your round with an eagle. So Chef Lepp. We'll be first up here. This one working up the right side. Mm, just needs to be a little careful. That's, That's okay. A fine tee shot, but it is a long, long way to this par five. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, he's in the water. Uh, no, what a shame. Enough earth there to slow that ball down, and it is going to wind up in the hazard. Mm. And the approach will get us there. Will he? It's just getting it down. That's the problem here. Yeah. That's the problem. But it's well, better than being in the, the drink, water, I suppose. Wind up in the left-hand bunker that brackets this 18th green. Oh, go on. Go on. Oof. Oh, how about that for a blast out of the bunk? Nearly hold it for Eagle. Birdie putt coming up, and we go to Iona Steven. Yeah, and the break here from right to left is the main consideration. It's fairly oh my flat word. overall. That's, You've got that, to consider the line. Oh, my goodness oh, me. It rolled around the cup. Spot on. That ball somehow just decided not to go down. Well, there it is. Yeah, Birdie to finish well off the tournament. Seven under. And, that's and we'll settle for that. Up our 18 holes of golf. Par putt for Shefflet. Okay, so Who finishes on two over? At the last. And that will finish off 
our round of golf. And we finished tied for 11th. No, they certainly did. Course played well. You got what you deserved out there. Some outstanding performances. And for our entire team, I'm Rich Lerner, saying so long for now. Well, we'll definitely settle for that. That was a good round and a good end to the round as well. Another decent tournament. Top 11. You know, we got to be pleased with that early on in our PGA Tour journey. It is always going to be very tricky. And, uh, you know, we've come out, we've made two weekends, and we've shown what we can do. We're ninth on the FedEx Cup rankings. We're up to 122 in the world rankings. So a few more decent performances and we could be finding ourselves with an invitation to the Masters which is of course what our goal is for this season if you have enjoyed that then give it a big thumbs up down below subscribe for plenty more PGA Tour videos and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye